Hi guys, I've decided to go live again today. Um, so here we go, we'll start at 3.30. We'll let a few people arrive. Hopefully we'll see who's out there on uh, YouTube right now. Um, if nobody shows up, this will just be a really great demo. Um, this is another unscheduled, fit it in when I can, kind of live stream. And I can now see you, so it's all good. <laughs> So what I have planned is I want to show you some really cool Canadian candies. I'm going to show you um, how I make my molds for my soap and beds. And I'm going to um, open up a birthday present, uh, one I've been waiting for forever to open up. And I'm really excited. It's uh, from Grace with Love. She's right here on YouTube. There will be a link when this goes <laughs> on the replay so um yeah hey DIY and Bob hello 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 <laughs> hey guys how you doing <laughs> oh, we are live yay <laughs> what kind of things do you DIY and Bob hey a hit and run awesome thank you thanks for the thumbs up ba bing thank you thank you <laughs> Come on back if you want to learn how to make soap melts, because I'm sure you want to learn how to DIY that, right? <laughs> Thanks for coming by. Hey, Laurie, how are you? Welcome, welcome. Go check out DIY Bob. He's in for here for the first time. And share each other. Ah, heavy equipment operator. Awesome, Bob. <laughs> yeah, this is just pretty low key compared to that. <laughs> oh, that's okay. Auto repairs. I bet those are fun to watch. My dad uh, loved fixing his own car. And my son just got a Camaro, a 1986 or something, or 96. It's really, really old, but super awesome to drive. <laughs> yeah, I love a stick shift. He was excited because he can learn to fix it himself. So that's awesome. I'll send him your way as well. So Laurie, what are you up to? Hey, Michelle, what am I making today? I am making molds today. I'm going to put a hold on the Venom. I was just so excited after the movie because Venom is more of a fandom thing and I need to finish up the Halloween stuff. <laughs> so I'm going to be making walnut molds and I'm going to be making Miniature car molds, DIY Bob, you might like that. So these are going to go on a soap. How cool is that? And, oh, cool. Well, welcome, welcome. Just don't get caught. Laurie. <laughs> and I'm also going to do these um, awesome tombstones that I found at um, Michael's. They've actually got soap dripped all over them. So I'll be pulling them out. <laughs> Yeah, I've been making lots of gingerbread soap. Oh my gosh, I did another loaf last night. Um, and I got all of my, my lavender bulk order cut and it's stacked. The stack is actually up to here. I don't know if you know what an Aleppo um, soap stack looks like, but that's how I store my soap as I'm, um, I'm, I'm curing it. And so I've got a stack that's this high upstairs. <laughs> it's pretty awesome. It's like I just kept putting it on and when I get to a point where I can't pile it on any longer It's a really stead really really sturdy um, uh, Configuration it's awesome um, So yeah, let's get started then um, Maybe I should open the oh, I'll show you the Canadian Halloween candy first, okay? All right, so in Canada we have a um, candy bar that Nestle makes called Coffee Crisp. Have any of you ever tried that? Hey Benjamin, say, hell, say hi to Michelle and Laurie and DIY Bob who are also here. Hola! <laughs> um, so it's called Coffee Crisp, this Canadian candy, and we also have something called Smarties, which are not like, um, yeah, I'm in Canada. Yeah, I'm right on the border, so I'm on Vancouver Island. Um, Pacific Southwest of Canada, Pacific Northwest, technically actually below the 30, 49th parallel. So I actually live within the borders, but the island is Canada. <laughs> but it's funny because you can see it, it, it's kind of funny. 
So, yeah. <laughs> um, so we have a candy called Smarties, too. And it's not those little um, tart candies that are that, that Smarties in the United States are. It's almost like a – I lost my chat. Don't know what happened. Oh, it's back. Hey, Giggle Giggles. Say hello to everybody. Check out Giggles' channel and Benjamin's channel and Lori's and Michelle's <laughs> and DIY Bob's. Say hi to everybody. Um, but for Christmas time, they come out with even Kit Kat has its own bar. I don't have Kit Kat today because, you know, you guys have Kit Kat and they probably have the Kit Kat with the scary cat on the front of it in States too. But I know you don't have Coffee Crisp. And so this is the Halloween candy that my family always has me mail down. So my sister's birthday is half price candy day. So the first of November. <laughs> And so she gets me my American goodies and I sent her down the Canadian ones. Coffee crisps are so good. Oh my gosh, they're so good. And Smarties. Oh, yeah, Michelle likes Smarties better. Yeah, they're kind of they're kind of like M&Ms, but these are Scaries. And my sister's name is Sarah. And we used to like tease her and call her Scary Sari. Um, <laughs> her birthday was the day after Halloween. It was, yeah. <laughs> so I sent these to Sarah. Every Halloween, usually I get a whole case of them if they have them at Costco, but they're super, super, super fun. Hey, Eagle VP, welcome, welcome. Say hello to everybody and check each other's channels out. So these are kind of cool. So that's the intro, intro. Um, now, I think I want to, to open my present. Is that okay, everybody? Can I go ahead and open it? Yeah, they are yummy. They're super yummy. Yeah, Michelle thinks they're better than, than m and I, I don't know. I think they're totally different. They taste totally different to me, and I like them both. So, <laughs> All right, so this is from with Grace from, from Grace Holloway, which is the, from Grace with Love. And she, if you haven't seen her channel and you love soap, um, you have to go and check her out because it's like watching art in action. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to use these bars. <laughs> and I always hate it when people say that to me. <laughs> but I've seen how beautiful her stuff is. And <clears throat> Grace knows that it is my birthday. Because <laughs> I told her. And I know I didn't order this much stuff. Just like um, um, Sugar Plum Soaps, they, uh, they're sharing with me a little more than maybe they should. Oh, my goodness. All right. So there is... You guys can't see this at all. Let me just, I'm not going to be able to see you talking, so go ahead and talk while I unwrap. But I want you to see this like a regular unboxing because that's the exciting part, right? So this is the first one. Let's unwrap it. Oh, my gosh, the smell is incredible. Oh, wow. Oh, this is a pretty one. Okay, this is one that I that I ordered, I think. I'm pretty sure. I like her. I love these bags. These bags are like my favorite. I use them all the time too. But look at that. Doesn't that look like a sunset? This is orange vanilla Shea silk soap. Now she's got a book out, and she'll teach you how to make soap exactly like this. She gives away her recipe and her techniques, and she just is an amazing resource if you're ever wanting to learn to make soap. And this feels, this feels amazing. I ordered this from, um, from Grace with Love. It's a soap company, company here on YouTube, Benjamin. So look up. Look up from Grace with Love. Grace Holloway is the artist. Isn't that incredible? And this smells like lemony and orangey. It's absolutely, and both sides are different. There's even green in there. And the way she makes them, it's, as I use this, it's also going to change. I mean, I've painted on soap, but she paints with the soap, which is absolutely, absolutely incredible. So, so there's the first one, and this one is called, again, Orange Vanilla Shea Silk. And there's coconut oil and olive oil and lots of shea butter, jojoba oil, orange essential oil, vanilla fragrance, real silk, and soap colorant. 
And from Grace, actually it's from Grace to you is the name of her company. From Grace to you dot com. YouTube. YouTube.com from Grace to you. So I'll fix that in the description box and a link to her um her webpage page too. Isn't that just look like like a sunset at the beach? I mean, when I saw this one, I just like it's like I need that. Oh my gosh. Okay, so there's the first one. And I'm gonna put these hopefully where you can just admire them even more as we go along. And I'm peeking to see if there's any comments. So go ahead and, and make comments. Looked at Sugar Plum Soaps last night. They have some awesome stuff. Yeah, they really do. Um, Deborah Cabral is also on Facebook. And like I said, sign up to the um, to her, um, what's it called? Oh, social media. Sign up on all her social media and you'll get the pictures. And her pictures are out of this world. Her, oh, oh, this is the cityscape soap. Look at how beautiful this is. Let me get it out of there. I just wanted one of each of everything. It was all so beautiful. But see what I mean? It's like a painting. This is called City Silk Soap. Now, is that a good angle, guys? Did I lose you all? Is that a good angle for looking at it? Now I can see you and you can also see the soap. All right, can everybody see it? Now this one she painted with the soap on the top and I think there's a YouTube video to watch her make this. And it's set to beautiful music. It's absolutely gorgeous. She does um, slab soap. Um, design so it's different from a loaf technique like I generally use and I actually bought a slab mold just because of her a smaller one not my giant one for my wholesale orders but um, hey makeup junkie welcome welcome check everybody out yes I do have Instagram so it's Jen Spice gentle soaps either one I think I linked them both together. I am not very good with Instagram, but also check, if you like this stuff, check out um, Sugar Plum Soaps on Instagram. She has the best pictures. Someday I will get those kind of camera skills if I apply myself. Just beautiful. Okay, so that is, again, same ingredient. Um, the scent on this one is Clean Laundry and Perfect Man. And the same ingredient. She uses... Um, this silk recipe in all of hers. Um, I was reading her book and she said if she ever changes it up, people complain because it's just so perfect. So I'm really, really looking forward to trying this. Okay, so I'm gonna have to tilt it a little bit. I'll go up and down. So you can you know, continue to see what comes out of here. Now these, I know I drooled over these. I'm not sure which ones I bought because I didn't buy all of these. Okay, this one is huge. So they're getting bigger, these bars. This is probably like a five ounce or six ounce bar. This one's like a seven or eight ounce bar. Like they're huge. I could easily cut either one of them in half and enjoy them. Okay, here comes the next one. So pretty, I know, right, makeup girl? They're gorgeous. This is... Check out, you can watch these subs being made on her YouTube channel from Grace to You. Oh, here's another one of those. Um, this one reminded me of like an Italian sunset. I don't know why, but it did. Look at this. This is just gorgeous. This one is called Lemon Lovers. Italy Lovers. Let's get it up there so I can see everything there we go i'm going to turn it around and you can see how it's different on the side i hope the light's doing we got a little bit of glare here okay my chat keeps interrupting i don't know i hope you can still see me i'll just go ahead and if as if it were up i keep peeking down every time it um comes back Super, super pretty. Okay, this is Lemon Lovers. 
shea silk soap and it's got coconut olive hey anybody new yeah <laughs> coconut olive shea butter jojoba lemongrass lucia cubea lemon essential oils and a snickerdoodle fragrance oil real silk silk and soap colorant Oh, that smells amazing. But it looks like little people in there. Can you guys see that? It's an impressionistic. I just, I see little people in there, like right through there. I don't know if you guys, kind of an ink block kind of thing, like a blurry city scene. It's just gorgeous. Are you going to vlog? Lost control. Yeah. You should vlog. You should vlog your soap making, Michelle. Definitely. So here's the next one. I'm going to try to go down a little bit so you guys can all see these. So as, as people come in, they aren't going to miss anything. Here's the next one. Holy cow. Gorgeous stuff. Oh. I can't wait to indulge in all of this. Hey, Steffi from Levain. Welcome, welcome. Check everybody out. Benjamin's here. And my friend Michelle is here from Lost Control. Makeup Junkies joined us. <laughs> Check everybody out, guys. I think Benjamin, um, Steffi is also a soap maker. So if you guys haven't checked out her channel, you need to do that because she's awesome. <gasps> oh, this one's perfect for... So Oktoberfest, oh, it got a little wet. I'll go clean that off. But this is a Stein soap. How awesome is that? Check it, check it. Isn't that awesome? Yeah, watch us all, Michelle. We all have different talents and ideas and inspirations, and we draw from it. There we go. Isn't that awesome? There's even like, okay, this one is coffee. It's not coffee, but it looks like a stein to me. That's why I got it because it reminded me like of a, bee, a beer stein. All right, coffee, shea, silk soap. Um, again, uh, coconut oil, olive oil, shea butter, jojoba, coffee essential oil, coffee fragrance oil, real silk soap and soap colorant. So I've, I've tried the coffee essential oil too, and it's super, super strong. This is awesome. I made my own soap marshmallows. Ah, oh, that's awesome. Oh my gosh. Oh, you better send me a picture, Michelle, with hot chocolate soap today. That is so awesome. Good job. <laughs> so that's the coffee soap, and it it's not supposed to have that blue on top. It just I think there's melt and pour on the top, and it, it got the glycerin, did a little thing, and absorbed the pretty paper. That'll happen. <laughs> yep, I'm older than Steffi. I am 48 this week. On <laughs> Monday, I was. <laughs> Yeah, guys, don't use don't use certain words. Just say I got you or come check me out. I don't know. I don't know if you can even um, solicit invitations. Oh, I guess I ordered. Did I order two? No, this is different. This is Golden Dawn. But you see how these look like sunsets, guys? They're just incredible and equally beautiful. Like this one's got... Again, these rich orange tones. Yeah, how do I how do I do that? How do I how do I get rid? Thank you, makeup junkie. Hey Steffi, how do I remove a word? Can somebody here help me with that? Oh, thank you. Thank you for the birthday wishes, Steffi. Okay, the three dots to the right. Now how far up is it? Okay. Who said sub? So I can get rid of. Who said SUB? So I can delete it. I don't know where it is. 
I just started making my own soap. Thumbs up. A lot of people make soap, just a few of us are soap makers. I think there's three on right now that make soap. Unless somebody else makes soap. Soap, you're so perfect, Anne. Hi, I don't know who you are. That's wonderful. Thanks for coming in. Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, so perfect. Anne, I can't wait to go check out your site. That's awesome. I can't find the sub thing. Yeah, never use that word, guys. I'm not sure why exactly. You can watch um, Steffi and my friend Ray Haydens. They know more about that kind of stuff. This is my third live stream. Hopefully it won't get pulled down. I'll go back and delete, I guess. I, I don't know. I'm going to scroll down now. I can't find... I can't find where somebody used the bad word. The show hide, makeup junkie 35. Can you help remove your comment with the S word? Okay, makeup 35, makeup 35. How far up are you? Make oh here. Remove. Got it. Thank you. Thank you so much, Steffi. I got it. It's gone. Please don't use that word, guys. Uh, YouTube frowns on on that. Say I got you, or I visited you, or hiya, or gotcha. Gotcha is a good one. That works really good. Don't worry about it. We're all learning here. Isn't that pretty? That is so pretty. So this is Golden Dawn. This one has a very soapy scent. It's bay rum. That's why it smells like soap. That's a bay rum one. Okay. There's one more, and it's real little. Nope, there's no more. That's all of it. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Look at this. I got five bars of soap here. And a card. Show off the card. I don't know if I can read it. I'll show off the card. Isn't that cute? A wiener dog on a bike. I will get you. I will visit your channel and leave your comment on your video. Okay. There we go. Nothing's up yet, but you inspire me to keep working on soap. So it's perfect. <laughs> hey, it doesn't have to be perfect. Look at a few of my new, my my earlier videos. Not so much perfect going on there. You don't have to be perfect. It just has to like feel good on your skin, girly. I mean, you guys, you did see the the Franken soaps I just I just posted, right? Ah, I happy birthday, Jen. I hope you enjoy your soaps. And I guess I ordered. <laughs> That she couldn't, she couldn't fit anymore, and I thought these looked familiar. I guess I went ahead and bought everything I wanted. I know I spent a little bit more at her site than I normally do. That is too funny. Well, these bars are so big, Grace, that it feels like I got a bonus. <laughs> these are so beautiful. It's like I got ten soap here. They're all so big. I love that. I love that. You guys got to go watch her. It is so, so much fun. Hey, Heather. Welcome. Welcome. <laughs> yeah, cocoa powder is a really good one. Did you use it, Michelle? Did you try cocoa, cocoa powder in there? You still with us? Yeah, alerts. Alerts. Yeah. Okay, so that's all the goodies that I got. Now we're going to make some – these notifications pop up, too, and you're just like, Meh. Um, <laughs> You've used cocoa, but you hate the smell, at least. I think it smells like chocolate. I don't, I don't mind it too much. But everybody's sense of smell is so different. Where's the cake? You want to see the cake? There's a little bit of it left. I'll bring out a slice, okay? <laughs> I'll bring out a slice and eat it in front of you. Does everybody want to see that? <laughs> I'll describe the flavors. Oh, it's it's just so, so good. We'll do cake last, okay? First, I would need to work. So I've been putting off these um, molds that I need to make for like ever, like forever, forever. I'm going to put all my soaps back in. They're back. And I got to make them because, you know, 
Halloween's going to be like gone. <laughs> Some people like can just make stuff out of season and they're so good about it. And I'm sure they sell a whole lot more than I do. <laughs> Chocolate cream cheese cupcake. Who has that? I haven't even seen that one. Oh yeah. Cocoa butter. I love. I tend to use an unscented cocoa, the deodorized cocoa butter. Um, because yeah, that cocoa butter with the natural has such a deep, deep chocolate scent. It's totally, totally awesome. City, city. So this is the city one. My labels. This one. Lemon lovers. No, this is the orange vanilla. I'm gonna put that one in there. And then other big one is, I guess this one's Lemon Lovers. No, this is Lemon Lovers, oops. This is some something Sunset, but I've lost the card. Oh well, it's probably in with the coffee soap. Nope. All right, so let's get started with the mold making. Yeah, there's a lot of really great marshmallow scents out there, uh, Michelle. A lot of them. Nature's Garden. Okay. Yeah. Why is Nature's Garden? They come out with so many. I end up like buying more every every season. <laughs> so I don't use gloves. Natural cocoa butter is so good. Yeah. Yeah, I love that natural cocoa butter. So here's my big pink bowl. And I've got my caulking gun. And under all of this mountain of beautiful stuff. I know, I know. It's addictive, isn't it, Michelle? You, you, you start making, um, you start buying those fragrances and you just can't stop. So I'm just going to cut this top off. Yeah, you like them too, Makeup Junkie? So this is the GE all-purpose silicone, not the um, not the 30-minute set. If you get the 30-minute set, yeah, what's your favorite scent, Michelle? The cake came out amazing. Oh, yum. Bourbon sugar syrup. Mm. My favorite scent. Well, probably whatever fragrance I'm using at the time, <laughs> to be honest. Um, lately, I've been mixing a couple of fragrances. <laughs> I know those testers. You know, Aztec, you can get really cheap testers. They like have this five for five thing going on. Let's see if I remember how to do this. Okay, how could I? I think I've forgotten how to. <laughs> I inspired me, Jen, to really go all in. That's awesome. That's good to hear. All right. So I've got my caulking gun loaded. Cake is vanilla, buttercream will be strawberry flavored, but still white for the traditional wedding. Oh, who's getting married? Best scent so far is Margarita from Nature's Garden. Oh yeah, that butter brickle is amazing. I have that one too. I haven't got the margarita one. Buttercream and snickerdoodle. Yeah, I mix snickerdoodle and a ginger, ginger pumpkin one for my um, my my pumpkin gingerbread um, soap, and it smells to me like um, Krispy Kreme pumpkin donut. My oldest daughter. Oh wow. <laughs> That's awesome. When did they set a date yet? Or are they just engaged? Never heard of Aztec. Where are they located? I think they're on the East Coast. Um, I did do a unboxing, a supply unboxing for them. If you want to check out what I've ordered in the past from them, they're super good. But you can get one ounce um, fragrance oil samplers from them for a dollar. 
You get five for five. And you don't have to buy anything extra either. Um, they're pretty good. They're not, I don't know. I like, if I could afford to just buy Brambleberry, I would. Because Anne Marie just has a, a thing for fragrance. I mean, every, every, um, every supplier, you'd think, you know, a buttercream would smell like a buttercream. There just aren't that many, um, um, manufacturers out there but they're different they really really are different all right so i'm just gonna let this do its thing and we'll start with oh you were a chef i didn't know that steffi <laughs> that's awesome i had my mom make my cake too we have this um almond cake it's a white almond cake that is traditional in our family and I had to have that and it was just we bought a like fake cake for the decorations <laughs> and the bottom layer was real cake um, and fancy and then we did slab slab mold cakes um, for the big big group of people it was awesome there's never enough cake make sure you make enough Hey, Sam.log. Welcome, welcome. Say hello to everybody. Woohoo. <laughs> so, should I do the walnuts, the tombstones, or the little cars first? Hey, Celestial Way. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> I'm going to spice up your life. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. <laughs> so you just work this. Um, you work the uh, silicone in the water that's got the soap in it. I didn't know if palm olive would work. I usually use um, Dawn, but it seems to be working just fine. And when it all comes together, we'll just start pressing it pressing the impressions in and then we'll leave it for a long, long time. I think I'm going to do a couple of walnuts and, and the tombstones first and we'll see what we've got. Um, see if we've got, we'll see what we've got left. Hey everybody. Say hello to everyone. What are we cooking? We are making, uh, molds. So I'm cooking silicone. <laughs> Celestial way. <laughs> so I'm going to take this walnut and wrap it in silicone like that. And uh, I don't like that angle. I'm going to go this way. And then I'll be able to pop it out easier. For soaps for love. Hi, Renee, you made it. Woo, woo. I know. I just can do it when I can do it during the day. My husband's actually here today. So I have a little extra help with the kids. We had some appointments get canceled. And so I thought, okay, let's just do this. So we're making, this is what I needed to do today. So I just invited you all in. I'm making, um, so that doesn't stick. I'm just going to put a little more of this on here. This is what I do. Not everybody does this, but so it doesn't stick. I put a little more of the. Hey, you have a lovely day too, makeup junkie. Thanks for stopping in. <laughs> Make sure you go check out her site. I can't wait to go check it up later. Check it out later. Hope you've got some new stuff up. That would be awesome. I'm a makeup junkie too. Totally, totally Sephora and everything else all the way. Okay, so I'm going to do these two walnuts. I figured with these I can use them whole for things. And I can also slice them in half. All right. Thank you, Celestial Way. Nice. I'm a border. Oh, okay. We're making a walnut. Yes, we're making a walnut. Just finished making soap. <laughs> what did you make, Renee? You made something awesome, didn't you? 
What kind of soap did you make, Renee? Tell us, tell us, tell us. <laughs> make a border. Exactly. <laughs> like, do you really need five Too Faced palettes? <laughs> yes. Yes, I do. <laughs> Uh, totally with you, makeup junkie. Soap challenge, Amy Wardens. Okay, that new one. How did it turn out? The October challenge. Okay, so here's the, what I'm going to try to make an impression of. I don't know if this is going to work. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. And I'm going to do it this way first. I don't think that's thick enough. I'm going to double it up. And I need to hurry up because it's setting up. I think I get two, maybe. I need to move it, move it. You've got to move it, move it, Jen. Okay. So the thing with these are you need to build them up. Otherwise, the, the melt and pour, whatever you're using, wax whatever will run right out if it's uneven and you can't press down too hard either hopefully that other one's gonna be okay everything's setting up ah! okay last two These aren't going to be pretty, but they're hopefully going to be done. Ooh. Ooh, I want that one 3D. Oh, well. Can't. Can't. Let's see. Let's see if I can. Let's see if I can. Let's see if I can do a 3D with this one. That one's too cool to go, Wendy. Your girls get onto you, Levine. I hardly start makeup myself. <laughs> I guess I'll get it to my. <laughs> uh, okay, so I'm going to do that. Hopefully, it's not going to poke through. I'm going to do this a little different. It's not really this flexible, guys, but I'm going to try it. It may, These may not work at all. I may have just screwed it up big time. Okay. I don't make makeup. <laughs> I don't understand. Oh, to be that, not have to feel like you need to put on your war paint. That's awesome, Renee. Good for you. <laughs> Wisha, wisha. Okay, so there's another 3D. Hopefully, I've got enough time to do these little flat guys. Kind of just didn't think this through very well. Okay. So we're just going to do that like that. And then I don't need all that. So I might do a couple of these little cars if I can't, if I still got a little bit of. Let's see. Okay. Get you up around. A lot of wiggling. Hopefully I got a good impression. We'll see. We'll see. We either will or we won't. And hopefully this is easy to bust into. Oh, good, it is. I don't have a lot of time. Okay, so a little car and an SUV. Okay, so we're just gonna make a impressions like this. I don't know. 
We'll see if these work. I found these in a thing. Um, I buy gifts for my kids, like, um, way before Christmas. And I bought these <laughs> for my boys and forgot I bought them. So I'm going to make soap with them. Hey, Jen, glad you're doing this because I really need to do one. <laughs> I'm too old for this. Like I said. Uh, <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> uh, yeah, in cooler ways. <laughs> Not my palette, please. <laughs> okay, now this one doesn't want to get a little, little pinchy, pinchy. So we managed to make them all ish. There we go. I'm just going to keep messing with them. And hopefully, we'll get some cool shapes. Mom contour. <laughs> I just use lots and lots of bronzer. <laughs> oh, I'm so, so porcelain. People actually ask me if I'm sick sometimes. Like, no, that's just my face. <laughs> oh. Let's see. I don't know, guys. I hope these are going to work. There we go. I hope so. I hope they turn out, Renee. Thanks for the vote of confidence. Oh, I used um, water and palm oil olive this time. And then, let me find my caulking gun. Then, I just used silicone. So this, this stuff. Um, GE brand, 100% silicone. Don't get the 30, 30 minute set stuff or it'll just turn to goo. Like it, it doesn't work, Laurie, if you don't um, use it. I mean, and it's it's not really an exact how much. You just have a big bowl of water and then you dump in about a cup of soap and then you just squeeze it all in. And if you use gloves, um, it sticks to the gloves. So you just want to use um, bare hands. Um, and it does, it's normal for it to smell like vinegar. So that, that is something to note. That you're not doing anything wrong. If it doesn't smell like vinegar, then I'd be worried. Maybe you did something wrong. Got another little piece here. I'm going to see if I can make another mold. It's probably not going to work. It's probably too small. If it does work, I'm going to make my mold smaller so I get more out of my... Out of my caulking. So that's pretty thin. I don't know. We'll see. And then I put um, I put a little bit of of the soap on the bottom, and then it doesn't stick to the drying thing, which is the container that I started in, which is the Ziploc bag. So that's it. I'm done. So I thought I'd give you a little sneak peek at um, a new fun project. I absolutely, absolutely adore those cauldron bath bombs. So at Christmas time, I usually make a um, similar one with, with the fizz, um, um, <laughs> fairy fizz, what am I thinking of? fairy dust and about halfway, you fill it about halfway with fairy dust. And then when you put the water in, it just kind of goes over and over and over. And it's just so much fun to play with in the top. So for Halloween, I'm making some skulls. These are huge. These are going to be really big long, but it's so quick. All I have to do is take my uh, fairy dust, which I've already done and I'll do a demo for sure, but there's a hole in the bottom. The rest of it is, fine. So that's going to be a neat little skulls. I'm totally about skulls this Halloween. Anybody else into skulls? I know you are. Is it Renee? No, or is it Sin City? Sin City is into, into skulls for Halloween. What did everybody make for Halloween? Anybody? Anybody there? 
Tell me what you're making for Halloween. Share with everybody. They can go to your site and check out what you're doing. All right, so we're going to wind down. So this is what I'm going to do next tonight, probably. Share that with you. Um, super, super easy, super, super fun. And I, in about half an hour, these should be ready. Actually, these are almost ready now. They're, like, getting hard. Nothing special? <laughs> well, they don't really sell. I know that last year I made, like, spider bombs, spider shot bombs, and all sorts of fun things. But they were really for me, and I gave them away, most of them. But, um, yeah, I, this year I just went nuts. I had this whole wolf thing so planned out, and I still might make it just because it's cool. Um, but so many different things. And, of course, Venom, I will be making that one. A Disney-inspired haunted match. Oh, Renee, it's going to sell out. I just know it. That's your, your Disney stuff is so freaking cute. It is just so cute. Um, oh, I can't wait to see it. Did you tape it, Renee? Your Disney-inspired haunted mansion soap? I hope you did. That would be awesome. So before I say goodbye to everybody, I'm going to show you the Canadian candies because they're just so cool. So there's Coffin Crisp. And there's scaries, and I'm gonna get little ones and put them in the draw winners um, Friday boxes before they go out. So you get to try some of these Canadian goodies. Um, it'll of course be a sample of my soap and whatever you picked from the um, from the draw. And just so y'all know, um, Laurie, is it Laurie? Anyway, the last winner, last week's winner, um, she got. She's from Three Ladies in a Vlog. Lindsay. Lindsay picked the um, the gold soap bar. So that's what she's getting. So, yeah, I can't wait to, to load it up for her. Super, super, super fun. Super, super fun. All right. So I'll see you all next time. Um, I'm going to be gone for a few days. And, oh, wow, 22 years. Congratulations. 25 years together. That's a big one. That's a really, really big one. Congratulations, Steffi. Are you going to vlog it? I enjoyed your, your last vlog. It was so much fun. Oh, my gosh. I just wanted to go with you. <laughs> are you, are you going to vlog this one? Oh, thank you, Renee. Thank you so much. Oh, awesome. Well, I will definitely be watching. Watching and enjoying. So go out, check each other's channels out. It'll be posted later. If you didn't make it to the chat, come on in and watch it and 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 join in like you did and meet everybody that's here and watch and support and be, you know, creators supporting creators. I hope you enjoyed the demos today and the fun candies. Um, the next time I will go live for sure is at seven o'clock Pacific Standard Time on Friday. Unless you know. <gasps> Candy cane soap. Ooh, nice. Good job, Michelle. I, I gotta see pictures. You gotta send me pictures. <laughs> I love peppermint soap. Congrats. I'm so glad you're having fun with this. This is the best hobby ever. This is my this is my stress reducer. This is what I do. Um, yeah, I'm so glad I got the hang of it too. That that first one was kind of a kind of a mess up. Thank you so much, Michelle, for helping me with that. And thank you, uh, Steffi, for pointing out the um, the words that popped up that shouldn't. If anybody ever notices those, I'm Wanting to present a um, entertaining piece as well as connect with you guys. So if I miss something, don't be afraid to let me know, okay? Because I want people to enjoy this. <laughs> I'm glad you enjoyed it, Renee. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye, guys.